Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And we have one more comic book to talk about today. And I think in my next episode, we'll probably go over that third uh, animated series episode that they're doing on YouTube, which is fantastic. So we'll talk about that in the next episode. But for this one, we're going to talk about Venom number 18, which ties into the main Absolute Carnage book. And uh, this was really great. It's uh, written by Donny Cates and Yvonne Coelho, who does the artwork, who's fantastic. I love his artwork. Um, and then the colorist, Rain Barreto, and uh, Clayton Cowles, who does the letters. This book picks up right where the last tie-in issue left off, which was Sleeper arrived. And so that was the big reveal at the end of the last one, was that Sleeper, who is the, the recent uh, latest offspring, the seventh offspring of Venom, that just appeared in uh, the Venom First Host book, which I thought was fantastic by Mike Costa. I thought that was a great wrap-up to his run. And now I'm wondering... You know, when I read this, it's so it fits so fluidly in with the themes and stuff of what Donny Cates is doing with family and things like that. That I'm wondering if Donny Cates and and uh, you know Mike Costa talked that out, and maybe you know Mike said, "Hey, I have this idea to bring in another symbiote," and maybe if he bounced some ideas off of Donny, uh, because I felt like Sleeper fit very organically into this issue, like really well done. I'm not I'm not kidding, uh, and I want to give those guys credit. I don't know if there was some back and forth between them or some co-creation going on, because I know that happens a lot in comics where someone's like, hey, I'm doing this and you're the next writer, so you know how can I work this out so it makes sense to end my story, but it's something you can use later, and that's how it feels. That's how organic this felt, uh, and seeing Oban do the artwork is, is fantastic. So it starts off with Sleeper going back to um, Clintar, and actually before, I don't know if I gave the digital, uh, digital code away, so before I I get into this boom there's a digital code first person to put that code in gets an issue of venom number 18 digitally and if you did get it let me know your review of the comic down in the comments down below so now that that said let's get back into this where uh sleeper said after the last time we saw him he's been gone for a couple months obviously and or maybe close to a year i don't know how long it's been uh since first host kind of wrapped up because after that the new venom book said it took place a few months later and uh, long enough for eddie brock's hair to grow really long so probably like four to six months later so he's been out there in space for a while and he talks about how while he was search you know searching through space and he's you know obviously the sleeper is the symbiote but the, the body that's in him is Tel Car. I think he's at that Kree soldier that's dead. So he's using a dead host and just n taking off the last nourishments he can uh, of this host. So the host is dead and its sleeper is in full control. So that's cool because it kind of separates him from the other symbiotes in a way. And he also has this power where he can create things, almost like, um, uh, what was it? Uh, it's Metamorpho, like Metamorpho from DC Comics, where he can create like chemicals and stuff, uh, you know, mixing things together from his own body and stuff. So uh, I like that. I think that's a cool power. And again, separates him and i like his color scheme it's like black and neon green uh it's very 90s i think uh, but it's cool I, I think it works um so sleeper got drawn back to clintar and he heard the voice of Noel kind of whispering. And when he gets back to Clintar, he sees that the planet is a planet, actually. That's another thing. So that was something I kind of complained about and wondered in the beginning was when we seen the planet of the symbiotes before, it was a planet with like a rocky substance and people went to it. But it shows that underneath it is where the other symbiotes are, the ones that are balled up. So they they balled up and then they like put a shell or an asteroid shell around them or, or you know, some symbiotes are, you know, ch shape changed into a rock or something like that. But, um, but it looked like an asteroid actual rock formed around them at some point and then they're all down there working together keeping um you know null at bay which meant any symbiotes that were on the surface probably weren't really knowing what was going on underneath and Null's, you know his signal wasn't as strong so this actually answered a lot of questions for me in a visual way um i loved it I, the visual storytelling very well done here donny cates and, and a bond with your artwork it answered a lot of dumb fanboy questions i had and it made me feel better about a lot of things and it made me look back on some videos I made and go oh well if I would have known this in the beginning yeah for sure um so yeah you know when sometimes when writers say hey wait and see you'll, you'll get some answers um they're they're right obviously but uh, sometimes I just don't like when they say wait and see and then it happens like 50 issues later like you know Tom King does with Batman I'd rather you know something like this where it happens within like the first year year and a half because it's like okay cool I you know I'm still on board for that for that uh, that period of time um, so anyway, so yeah, we get the reveal of Telcar is dead still, and he's talking to Dylan and Normie, and he's trying to help them out. But then, uh, you know, it, everything goes to crap when the Maker shows up, and there's a lot of great drama there, and what the Maker's doing, he's definitely slipping fully into his supervillain role, and uh, he's not taking any crap from the kids now, and he's putting his foot down, and he's captured all the symbiotes and separated them from their human hosts, and he's studying them, and he's noticing the effect that the human hosts have. He's surprised they're still alive, actually, um, and he separated all the four other hosts, you know, separately, and he's going to work on them, but he wants to start by using his machine 
on these four, this family. Because remember, and that's what makes it tragic, is we know who the hosts are because we learned about them in that one shot, you know, the, the, the Venom Absolute Carnage one shot that they did a couple weeks ago where it was a family of four that got all taken over by the hybrid symbiotes. Now they're separated. So we see like the little girl, her little brother, her mom and dad, and uh, they're being experimented on by the maker and he's trying to pull the codexes out of them or codices out of them without killing them. But he's also testing. He's like, yeah, it may kill them. I don't know. So there's an added level of tragedy there. And Dylan says that. He's like, look, that's a family. And I and you are you might kill them. And he's like, we should test this on like Norman Osborn. Because if Norman Osborn dies, he's a bad guy. No one cares. And Maker is getting impatient. He's like, no, I want to test my machine out. So Dylan and Normie kind of step up to like, you know, um, you know, break out, and, you know, and to get away and to keep the Maker, you know, at bay from, uh, you know, from capturing them. But it doesn't work out so well. Their plan works to keep Maker occupied temporarily but unfortunately it goes very south and it backfires on them uh, but there is also a great reveal in this two great reveals in the last few pages uh one uh, we get to see the hybrid symbiote come together again so those four suits break out although sleeper they make a note to draw him still in his shell so he doesn't get loose but the other four do get loose uh and they merge as hybrid and they merge and bond with a character which now makes them another unicorn so this other character i don't want to spoil everything some of you guys probably already know because the book came out a week ago uh but uh but i don't want to spoil it here uh, i will say go pick up this book but a, another character does become another unicorn so i was thinking about that i was like wow that's what the Deadpool book was doing, was talking about how someone bonded with hybrid. Well, in this one, someone bonds with hybrid. And then the, the hybrid suit now can sense Dylan, and it senses something different about him. Because remember, the codex was passed to him uh, from Anne Wang. So that's what we've been told by the maker, because they have that conversation here that from Absolute Carnage number two, where maker calls Eddie Brock, and he says, hey, I have the kids. We're safe. We had a temporary thing, but don't worry. Everything's cool. But you should also know something about that mass grave. Anne Wang wasn't in it. And uh, and so I'm studying more about Dylan. I want to learn more about him. And Eddie's like, no, just wait right there. I'll, I'll try to come back and help the kids at some point. And uh, then now the maker, you know, is is revealing to uh, Dylan that there's more to him than meets the eye. And then also they have the hybrid thing going on. Uh, but there is a big reveal with Dylan as well. So uh, I thought that was also interesting and got me, uh, you know, perked up to maybe see what happens and maybe see that pay off in the next issue and then into Absolute Carnage. So I don't know. I have some theories about that, but I want to hear yours too. And I don't want to spoil too many of mine. So we'll do all of our theories and stuff in our conversations down in the comments below. But the final page of this was cool. Um, I will spoil this because it's not a big story spoiler. But what I like about it is that we're going to see Spider-Man now interact with Dylan uh, again, uh, along with Normie, because the heroes show up and you have Spider-Man, Wolverine, the Thing and Captain America, which I think these are also the same characters that are going to be in the, um, the Avengers one shot. Uh, and they're all going to get carnageized, I think, as well, maybe in that book, uh, because they all had uh, symbiotes bond with them at one point during Carnage USA. So seeing that whole team show up here, or most of the team uh, show up, was really great. It was a great reveal at the end. So anyway, but there is like some twist here with uh, the hybrid suit and who it bonds with, and then also with Dylan that I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on, and we'll do it in the comments down below, because like I said, I don't want to spoil it here in the video. Uh, but so avoid the comments if you haven't read the book yet. But if you have read the book, let me know your review down down below and I want to hear your thoughts on it, what you liked, what you didn't like, so we can have a conversation. And if you got the free digital comic, also let me know what your review is down below as well so that I know who got the book and that I know it went to a good place and it got a good home. So thank you guys so much for watching the show. As always, the next episode, we'll probably talk about the animated short that came out this week with uh, Norman Osborn as, you know, Cletus Cassidy Carnage. Uh, so we'll talk about that in the next episode. And then I'll probably take a couple days off. And then when Wednesday new books come out, uh, we'll do more Absolute Carnage at that point as well. And if any new movie news comes up, I'll try to cover that as well. Well, but I'll probably just wait till Wednesday because I got a pretty hectic work schedule this week. I'm working six days. I'm even working in another town that I got to drive like 45 minutes to an hour to get to uh, to help one day. And then I'm going to do a Batman event for Batman Day. There's a 5K marathon coming up and I'm going to be working that event for Lego. So I'm going to be very busy that day. So this week is going to be hard for me to do videos. I only got one day off and I think that one day might be occupied with something else. I'm waiting to hear back for something, uh, some event that's happening here in LA. So I may have no days off this week. So I'll do my best uh, to make videos for you guys when I can. But uh, stay subscribed so you don't miss out on any of them when I do post them. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.